Well, Jamel Herring is the WBO Junior Lightweight World Champion, and he was scheduled to defend his title against Jonathan Akendo next week on this series, but he has announced that he tested positive for COVID-19 last week. Of course, Herring, an incredible backstory, his ascent to become a world champion, wanted to be the first to have a title defense during COVID-19. He caught up with Mark Kriegel earlier. Thank you, Joe, and thank you, Champ, for being here. First thing, how are you feeling physically and otherwise? Well, physically, I'm feeling like myself again. Um, you know, I had a rocky couple of days in the past um, few days, but right now I feel like myself. I'm mentally, I'm, I'm mentally tough, as you know. That's just how the Marine Corps um, built me. But, you know, I feel like the regular old Jamel once again. I'm just happy to just to be here speaking with you. When did you break the fever, and when the doctors told you, what was your reaction? Um, when I broke the when I broke the fever is um, is literally the day I found the results when they had called me on the phone, which was um, um, sat, Sunday su Sunday Sunday night is when I had broke the fever, and but sat, Sunday morning is when I had got the results. But they basically told me that since I was pretty much at the at the stages of um of my body just sweating it all out and um you know going through and taking this course that I was pretty much at the, at the end of it. But, you know, to be on, on the safe side, I had to um, immediately just quarantine myself and just, and, you know, stay away from every, anyone that I, that I was been, been around for the past couple of weeks or so. So I'm watching you on social media, and I see you're all shredded up for right. the fight. But that's not, just, that's not just any gym. That's Brian McIntyre and Terrence Crawford's headquarters in, in Omaha, what was the reaction of your teammates when they found out? Um, I think they were, everyone was more shocked because, like I said, like you pointed out, for the most part during training camp, I was just going through um, my regular course and training, um, working hard, uh, pushing myself to the limits. And even though I, 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 um, I guess I had the virus, I wasn't, I, it, wasn't, I wasn't, it wasn't taking any effect on my ability in terms of how I was looking and, and feeling in, in, in training camp. Do you know if your teammates and your coaches are, are being tested or how everyone's dealing with this? Oh, them, oh, everyone, once, once, once the news broke out, um, Brian, Brian McIntyre immediately shut down the gym for everyone's safety. Um, the gym is actually getting sprayed down to, uh, to make sure that, you know, that, that everything is clean and cleared up. And like I said, but um, last but not least, everyone has gotten tested. And for the most part, everyone's results has came back um, negative, thank God. But we definitely have been taking it and taking this matter seriously, and you know we're just taking it one day at a time. But um, right now they're just they're just focused on on how I'm feeling and doing, and everyone just glad to see that I'm that I'm you know feeling like the old Jamel again. What did the doctors tell you about your recovery, and what do you okay. think best case scenario will be before you can get back into the gym and back into the ring? Um, like I said, they, they told me after I, once I broke the fever and I wasn't taking any medication to help, you know, help bring the fever down. That's when I basically um, five days after you break the fever is when you um, can go, really go back to your normal day of living. So, you know, like I said, Sunday, Sunday was pretty much the, um, the last, the last, the worst of it, the last of it at least. You know, I, um, luckily um, that I was actually staying healthy and eating healthy and, and drinking tons of water throughout the camp. Is what really helped get rid of it a lot quicker because you know with the um, sweating it out, of course, was cause it was due to me drinking a gallon of water every day through our camp. So I wasn't, you know, I wasn't dehydrated. I wasn't. My body wasn't feeling weak, and uh, you know, it was just it was my body was just you know fighting it and, and running its course. So that's why I was, I was sweating it out. But when, it, when the doctors told me that once I got past that stage of the, of the fever and it was and there was no more sign of a fever. Five days. That's five days after that. After that, um, last initial, um, basically, um, fever, is when I can basically start training again. So the, it looks like I'll be back. I can come back in the gym by before the week is over. Thank God, because like I said, I was I was on the tail end of it. But um, for the most part, we're just making sure that everybody on the team comes back negative before we do anything. Are you eyeing a fight date? Oh, Best yeah. case scenario. Um, Best case scenario right now, I've been told July 14th will be the new fight date. And that's, and that's because, um, like I said, I, I, um, 
we took care. We took care of the situation quick, quickly. Um, like I said, I was responsible. To me and my team and I were responsible enough to um, report the top rank in ESPN about my situation. We didn't want to. I did not um, want to wait till I basically got to Vegas in the week of the fight to then, you know, present something to pop up positive. So, you know, we we took it upon ourselves to get to, to get tested long before we, we even got to Vegas. And luckily for luckily for that, um, and us fighting, uh, well, for me fighting the, um, the virus off. I was fortunate enough to get a, um, a, a quicker fight date um, two weeks after my original fight date, which is not too far off. So I'm happy about that. But right now, my, my main job is just to continue resting, continue, um, you know, doing right. My nutrition is here with me. She's taking care of me. Thank you. Um, thank you, Paulina. And, you know, right now, I'm just just <laughs> being myself and keeping my spirits up. But like I said, I, I appreciate everyone who's reached out to me to see if I'm OK. But. Luckily for me, like I said, um, I didn't get the worst of the virus or the symptoms, at least. And I'm just happy just to be here in one piece. Jamel, I know you will persevere through this. Get better fast, champ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you all.